Keith, let me unmute you again. Keith, I might have some thoughts on that poll results there. Um, Keith, yes. your second technology. Um, thanks. I, I, I'm going to disagree with you and Jean uh, and say that what if all this learning is learner driven, that we don't need structures? We just need to access information. And what the poll just showed was that each of us may have a variety of ways of connecting with the information that's important to us. So I'm thinking, what if all this learning we're talking about and all the resources are learned, learner centered, and that we start to learn a bit more about each of our digital habitats? And having three technologies from each of us really underscores how different we are in what we do. I recently ran a course, open online course, uh, learners came when they wished. Uh, we ended up with uh, 95 countries. It was just staggering where people were coming from. And so I, I'm into this idea about where does expertise reside if we're going to share information? And the web has given us this uh, wonderful opportunity. So my second choice, very briefly, is uh, an aggregation tool called Scoopit. And what I do with Scoopit is that I decided I would try to follow, if I could, governance and high performance issues uh, in a limited number of countries, but would give me enough feel for what was going on. So what I did was I, I signed up for Scoopit and configured my feeds for New Zealand, Australia. I, I threw in Qatar because of its uh, growing status in in sport and also some English feeds I can get from there. Uh, I, I, I watch the UK very carefully and also look at Canada. I, I decided not to look at the USA because I was getting too much um, professional sport information. So today, for instance, I've got uh, four stories as my headline, uh, not the ones on the slide here, but on, on my scoop it today, I've got some gender equity, gender equity issues from New Zealand, some gender equity issues from Australia. I've got the story about the Nigerian football teams who conceded 146 goals in two soccer games. <laughs> and I've also then got a story about um, some New Zealand evidence about uptake of young people in sport. Again, um, the Scoop It newspaper arrives in, in my inbox at seven o'clock every morning. I've read it by 7.15 and I've sent on links to other people if they have a particular interest. So I'm thinking again, along my theme of aggregating, Scoop It provides a great opportunity to share, to share stories and every person can choose where their feeds come from. That's me done, Peter. Excellent. Excellent, Gene. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to keep, keep moving on. Uh, keep sending the questions in, please. Maybe I can see them coming in here. And uh, Catherine's been busy in the background replying to some of those, but we'll get to those very shortly. Uh, Keith, I'm going to mute you now. Jean, e-learning, there is more. Uh, thank you, Peter. And uh, we may have time at the end to address Keith's uh, challenging question to us. Um, I feel a bit like uh, a person at the uh, supermarket. You know those um, lines where it says eight or fewer items, um, and I'm uh, presenting a number of different technologies, and I think that number is uh, greater than three. Whenever I've been in that situation at the supermarket, I've said, oh, yeah, but uh, all the vegetables, they're in one category, and all of the fruit, that's in another category, and all of the uh, canned stuff, that's in another category. So my, my um, categories here is to say, if we go beyond um, uh, managed learning, where courseware is developed and loaded into a system called a learning management system and fairly tightly uh, controlled from where to go, um, there are other technologies and particularly technologies that add a social dimension. Now, in a lot of uh, corporate um, and university settings, the learning management system enables you to do all of the regular um, 
online uh, course uh, learning and engage in various uh, social things as well using a variety of tools. But my experience in sport is that we're not quite there and sports are looking at developing in the first instance machine driven, computer driven online courses. So what I'm saying is um, uh, while that may be the case, there are a few other things um, to go, you know, we, we can go beyond that. And uh, um, YouTube or its uh, si um, similar partners, uh, Vimeo or TeacherTube or other sources of video are good examples. And whether we're producers or consumers of video, I think that's something we should in sport uh, spend more and more time thinking about it. If you were to do a a search for the Australian Sports Commission YouTube channel. You'll see an example of that. I mean, those of you listening will have probably hundreds of examples. Or if you wanted a specific sport, um, I looked yesterday again at Surfing Australia, and if you navigate down to Surf Groms, G-R-O-M-S, Surf Groms, the, the little boys and girls who participate in surfing, again, you'll see how they've very, very effectively um, used uh, YouTube there for, for their, uh, their outreach. Um, the second one is the um, phone, uh, you know, good old copper wire um, phone or uh, Skype. One of the beauties about Skype is you can share desktops. Um, but uh, in those courses where the numbers may not be as large and where there is a requirement for some closer one-to-one -one contact, for example, Australian football does some work with their umpires, where after the um, learner umpire does some analysis, there is a one-to-one -one interaction um, over the phone with that person to, to, to discuss their analysis. And then, of course, Peter has taken us through the webinars. Again, I think that's a terrific tool. So that's it for me for now. now would people, if people have got their time, what's your, what would you be your favourite? Um, tool in this respect if you want to just write it into the questions there and and send them in we will be uh, putting all this together at the end of the webinar so the material that we send out to people after this webinar will have links to all these sorts of resources we're talking about uh, so that's not a problem but what's what's your favorite do you want to send in what your favorite uh, technology in this respect is um, only yesterday Gina was on a, a Skype call that as you can record the Skype call the video call mm. and I turn that into a resource. I post that uh, onto YouTube. I produce a PDF for a text document. So I'm syndicating content in one single piece of content in multiple different ways. Um, some of the YouTube videos that I got from Skype conversations um, have generated three or 4,000 views on YouTube. At the same time, they've also had several hundred downloads from the website. So you're using a single piece of content and, and syndicating it multiple different ways. Thank <laughs> you.